part two of the title matches here from Texas Starlanes at Texas Station. Kevin Finkler in big trouble here after winning the semifinal match. Talon Hendrickson had to make up 22 pins of handicap, and right now Hendrickson leads by 33. So Finkler's still within 13 pins if he can put something together here in the late frames. He went Brooklyn on the left lane the last time. Seemed to be working better in his pocket shots lately. Both bowlers with two titles. Kevin beat Talon for one of his titles, so an opportunity at revenge for Hendrickson. He tries the old Brooklyn again, but not to be. He's not exactly camera shy, is he? No. Yeah, he should no. be. No. He's been <laughs> hamming it up on camera here the whole match instead of working on the bowling. I think he might want to look into that. Just saying. I don't know. Meanwhile, over in the scratch division, 15-time champ Derek Acuff, the smooth lefty, has himself out to a 20-pin lead against top seed Dallas Leong. We'll focus on them in just a couple minutes. Right now, Finkler back up ball at the 6'10", but does not back up enough. It's another open, and the door starts to close, and I don't know what he's doing. Kevin, focus, young man. Focus. Not on me. Not on me. <sighs> Henderson can lock it up here with some marks. That's a nice shot. Oh, Sends the messenger across, but doesn't quite hit it. Talon's put a lot more stank on that ball since the start of the season. He used to throw the ball fairly straight. Now he's got that modern hit up on his release, and it looks good. But look out. And unfortunately, he took the spare ball too. Brendan, you go hard and straight at your spares, young man. Yes, I do. Well, it's a 35 pin lead, and again, Talon's got to win by 23. So, I believe 13 pins wins it, therefore. Any mark. Nine out would be 166. Which would give Kevin Earl. So, yep, a mark should do it. He's up quickly. There's the mark. Yeah! Uh, with any kind of good count here, Hendrickson's going to pick up his third career JBT title. Should be a good finish over here between uh, Dallas and Derek. Dallas torched the field going plus 462 today. A low game of 223, which was his last game. And that double officially felts it up. We got a three-time Utah champ, Talon. It's gonna take it down. Well, Kevin, uh, second last month and a, uh, first last month and a second this month is a pretty good hot streak to go on heading into the invite. So. Nothing lost there, and because of the entry, because of the big entry count today, second place is worth much today as it usually is for first, 200 for second. So that's a good day to good day to lose. Strikes off the sheet for 187 stretch. That's plenty. Nice shot, Talon. Yeah, what do you think on the level? Oh, please. <laughs> All right, we'll give Kevin Finkler two more minutes of camera time here. He's enjoyed the first ten. Might as well give him some more. That's a good shot. There it was. Where was that, where was that earlier? There it was. Heating <laughs> up over and stretch there is uh, Leong crawls within a pin with the double that you saw the ball there. We're going to focus on that in part three. After we say goodbye to Mr. Finkler. Nope. I'm sure he'll commentate about it. Yep. Expressive guy. Talon, you can sit around until scratch is over. Cool. All right, congrats again to Talon and Kevin. Stay tuned for part three to watch the title match.